Welcome aboard the MV Highlander. Arising from the sea, this 200 foot long ship commands the horizon. This video is going to showcase the ship in the order you'll see it. First, you'll be driving onto the ship. Then, you'll be heading to the main sitting area, exploring the outer decks, and then end off in one of the staterooms. We encourage you to leave a comment below and ask any questions you like. We'll do our best to answer. For additional information about this journey, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us online at www.joshatravelguy.ca. As you drive aboard the ship, staff will guide you to your parking spot. The area may be tight and you could be surrounded by large trucks or trailers. Be sure to bring everything you need with you, because once you leave the vehicle deck, you won't be able to go back until the end of the trip. Once you park, the friendly staff will help direct you towards an elevator or stairwell where you can head up seven floors to the main sitting area. Within this main area, you'll find 500 spacious reclining chairs. The sitting area is scattered with TVs, so choose a spot that corresponds to your interests. Please note you'll need headphones in order to listen to the TV. If you forgot to bring your own, you can buy them on board for $3. To listen to the TV, plug your headphones into the jack on the armrest. Although Wi-Fi does exist on board, you'll need to remember you're in the middle of the ocean. At the rear of the seating area, you'll find your food options. Coffee, tea, and a microwave are all found in one central booth. You can buy pre-made sandwiches or freshly made soups and goodies from the counter. Does your stomach crave more than just a panini? Visit the onboard restaurant for a great selection of food and drink. Be sure to stop by the gift shop on your way through and pick up a souvenir for the trip. Want to head outside? Head back to the sitting area where you can easily access the outer decks. You'll notice you can only head to the back of the ship, but it does offer a unique perspective of how vehicles are stored on the ferry. In this area, you can also find the animal kennel if you brought a furry friend on board with you. Back in the stairwell, head all the way to the top. Here you can find a series of benches and a good way to soak up the sun. You can head around the side of the ship and see where the captain and crew operate, as well as a helipad, a place reserved for emergency landings. Whether you cross during the day or during the night, you have the option of renting one of 96 cabins on board. The room either features two or four beds, TV and radio, plus your own washroom and shower. We enjoyed our seven hour voyage from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. We believe the ferry is one of the most unique, fun, and enjoyable ways to travel, and appropriately touches on the seafaring history of Newfoundland and the Atlantic provinces.